The game is Saturday Legends. The website is SaturdayLegends.com. If you are a subscriber to my channel, you can get a discount at the website when you purchase the game. But you have to type in this code, Kurt Berg, K-U-R-T-B-E-R-G, at the checkout. This is your checkout code. You do that, you get 15% off of Saturday Legends, a college football game I am very excited about, and I think you will be too. This is Kurt Berglund with demo video number three, third and final demo video for this game to give you an understanding of the game and a head start on being able to play right out of the box. In this video, we're gonna look at special teams uh, and how you do the various special teams uh, plays that need to be done during the course of a game. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. If, if you have not looked at my uh, unboxing video or demo videos one and two, I encourage you to go back and take a look at those as well on my YouTube page. But uh, I think this game is one you're going to like. So uh, let's go through now, uh, starting with the kickoff, how you do one and what can happen when you do. All right, so let's go to the charts. For the kickoff, going right off the directions for the game. The kicking team rolls the D20. The ball is received at the D20 minus 8 yard line. So, let's roll it. We have a 14. 14 minus 8 means that the kickoff will be re received at the 6. If we had rolled a 19 or a 20, there will be a kickoff special. All right, the kickoff special is from this column. Give an example of what that'll look like. 17 on the kickoff special column is 30 yards plus D20 yards return, so it'd be a 42 yard return. But a lot of things can happen in the kickoff special column, including fumbles, uh, uh, terrible returns, terrible uh, field position, but also touchdowns. That's on a roll of a 19 or a 20. Then you add or subtract your kickoff return adjustment. All right, your kickoff return adjustment. Kickoff return defense uh, for Louisiana State is two. For Ohio State, minus three. All right, so if it was, let's go through this and suppose that it was uh, Louisiana State kicking to Ohio State, minus three on their kick return. So we'd go 18 minus eight, be received at the 10. The receiving team rolls the D20. The return is D20 plus 10 yards. So that would be out to the 25, but... Louisiana State's defense is minus three, so we'll be back to the 22-yard line. All right. You add or subtract your team's kickoff, return adjusted. There's calculated to start the game. In college football, you can fair catch anything inside the 25 and just get the ball at the 25 with no return. All right, so that's a kickoff. Got to pay attention to your kickoff return defense. All right. On the other hand, the kickoff return is a plus two. So you have kickoff return defense and a kickoff uh, return. 
So in the case of Ohio State, it would negate Louisiana State's two. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it would add to it. Kickoff return defense for Louisiana State is two. Ohio State's kickoff return is plus two, so that'd be a plus four. You just have to make sure you're matching up your return values so you adjust the kickoff properly. All right. Onside kick. So, you start, uh, for an onside kick, you roll the D20 and you move the ball 20, D20 plus five yards. D20 plus five yards. So if the kicking team rolls a seven, the ball is moved seven plus five equals 12 yards from their 30. So to, to the kicking team's 42. Then, you look at the onside kick chart, you roll your D20 and that's who recovers. There is no return. So the receiving team covers, recovers on a roll of a two, for example. Kicking team recovers on 18, 19, and 20 for an onside kick. No return, so wherever the ball lands, that's where you are. D20 plus five, so you start from the 30. So 15 plus five from the 30 makes it a midfield. Then you roll the D20 again and you consult the onside kick chart. In this case, it's a five and the receiving team would recover at midfield. All right, punts. For a punt, there is a chart devoted really to punts on this, on X sheet four. We have a punt adjustment in every game, just like the kickoff adjustment. So if Louisiana State Kicking to Ohio State, punt return defense is four. Punt return is plus two. So we'd get a six yard adjustment in Ohio State's favor for a punt from Louisiana State. So what we do, we punt by rolling the X our D20, we look on the X table. It's a 42 year old punt. This is how many yards the ball was punted. If the ball is not punted past the goal line, receiving coach now rolls the dice and reads the punt return yardage and adds their punt return adjustment. We know the punt return adjustment for Ohio State is six. Fair catch negates it. If I had rolled something higher, like a 16, be a 20 yard return, 14 plus six. If I had rolled a 19 or 20, it's what they call a return special. You look at the return special here and you can even get a touchdown in that case. On the punt, if I had rolled a 19 or a 20, could be a great punt or a blocked punt or a bad punt. A lot of things can happen on uh, punts and for that matter on kickoffs in the special column. All right, next are field goals. So for yardage, you add 17 to the line of scrimmage. A field goal try from the 20 yard line would be a 37 yard attempt. All right. Uh, if the kick is missed, the defensive team takes over the ball at the place where the kick was kicked from, line of scrimmage minus seven yards. So let's do one. Field goal column is right here. I rolled a five. 
from 37, I'm less than 37 yards, it's good. It's pretty straightforward. Point after touchdown. Offensive coach rolls the dice and checks the, the chart. No time goes off the clock. When a 1 or 2 is rolled for a missed kick and a 2 or 19 was rolled on the penalty dice roll, then the extra point kick is blocked. Here's the extra point. I rolled an 8. It's good. Extra point chart. All right, going for two points. The offensive coach can go for two points after a touchdown. The ball is placed at the three-yard line for an untimed play. The plays are not marked off from your scratch-off pad, and any play can be used. So if you want to go for two, you can, and this is how you do it. you got to make three yards. The important thing to remember about punts and kickoffs is to take your adjustment into account and really write it down on the scratch off sheet before the game starts. If you do that, you'll subtract or add your coverage total plus your return total for the uh, for the other team, get a number and you can just automatically add that to the punt or kickoff that you've just accomplished. Then it's easy during the game just to add in that number or subtract the number in the case of teams that uh, cover kicks well or don't return kicks well. And your game can flow very, very smoothly. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing a demo of a whole game uh, on my channel. And what I'm going to do is to break the game into quarters so you can watch a quarter at a time on a particular day. And what that will do is to give you a sense of how the game flows and to get a routine down uh, of how Saturday Legends really works. Now, there are a lot of different ways that you can set up for solitaire play of a football game. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing is to model some of those different ways during my demo game. Uh, maybe you want to be the defensive coach, and so the offensive plays need to be... Uh, and you want to do the defense for both teams. You can certainly do that. If you want to be the offensive coach for both teams, you can do that. And if you just want to coach one team, offense and defense, there's ways to do that as well. And I'm going to be demonstrating those in the weeks to come. But the important thing for now is to take a look at this great game. SaturdayLegends.com. You can take a look at all of the teams that you can order, the 10 that you get with the base set, 10 teams. But then you can order extra teams, maybe from your home state, your alma mater, whatever it might be, and uh, get rolling. Uh, it's a fun game. I encourage you to take a look. Don't forget my discount for subscribers. Kurt Berg. When you check out, you do that, you get 15% off. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Have a great day. So long, everybody.